I'm certain that horny Scots in the herd somewhere. Time for our jobs as political metaphors! That's it, keep at this throat, lad. Remember to wipe the blood off with the towel. Shoot, sworn enemy of grass. Quickly, my reverend, before the one with the glasses comes back with that beep beep shit. Especially hunting season. If I stumble and drunk and kill your flock, that's your problem, Injun. Considered by many to be the best in the world. But then again, we don't the have Australian mailboxes. Australian Coradale was evolved around 1882 by sheepmen crossing Australian Merino ewes and well-disguised chupacabras. And breeding the progeny. The result is a dual-purpose sheep. Both holes designed for optimal comfort and all pleasure. For cuddles, of course. After sex, that is. High meat and wool yields together with extreme tolerance to climatic conditions not to mention its 10 point charisma and 5 point sheep, tidiness the ideal animal for the simple conversion of human beings to mere sleepy profit. docile beast an award bestseller for the new york times stop stop so you said you want yours in a braid but you didn't know these were what parachutes used to be made of Oh shit, blimey, they hit a razor in here again. In Australia, they call this the foreplay. The exhibits all the characteristics desired by the textile industry. Yup! It is a heavy fleece. I just can't wait for this to be littered with household chemicals and animal feces. In fact, the Australian Coradale returns a very high average fleece weight. 15 fluid ounces. Over six kilograms. Of course, working at a smegma warehouse isn't always easy. Oh, oh, what's up to you? Bloody hell, the wind's strong today. Watch this wall get crushed just like your hopes and dreams. Or stare at the sun and go blind instead. Come on, my I've been eating grass for six weeks. Can't I just take a dump? Conditions. Oh look, it's that thing you see on the hairspray. The Australian Coradale thrives in most situations. Except if we were born in Melbourne. Well in conditions like this, <laughs> where rainfall is minimal and temperatures may exceed 40 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees? No one will be happy to have them temperatures. Ugh, ready, jock itch. One thing for certain, the shit 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 shit. Conversely, it is equally at home in high and wet areas. The sort of place where you'd temperatures expect to find fall a as low as minus 10 degrees, and rainfall can be over 1,000 millimeters. That's enough water to drown a chickadee. You tend to the sheep, Max. Example, I'll do with that pansy ass pan fluter. A large proportion of the sheep population are Coradales. And a good two thirds are power bombs. Yeah! Adam Sheep go! And the conspiracy is unmasked. Sheep are used for logging, not wool. The Australian Coradale use breakneck BJ speeds, mothering ability, and a long lactation period. That and a right old beating makes the perfect egg nog. Even in extreme conditions. Wow. I'd be impressed if I had eyes. Now, do they usually have horns in their backsides? In the marketplace, prime Coradale lambs oh, come out. Oh, give me a jump, motherfucker! The Australian Coradale, with its large frame and hunky chassis, makes it nature's perfect milk. by Australian and overseas buyers. And by that, we mean the mud puddle across from Chukabunga Street. No, here's something that will scare your kid if we leave the door open. Baby, we're gonna teach you how to ride a bike today. With lean meat of the highest quality. And I'll to put this in one of 792 ingredients for hot dogs. One day I'll get to ride on the hooks, ma'am. Every time I tell myself I don't fear right, I just bury it in a river of gin. The more mature sheep also finds ready acceptance in the world marketplace. A woolly dash from what appears to be nuclear fallout. Go on, give us a kiss, love. I won't turn you into the mist, I swear. Weighing around <laughs> 60 <laughs> kilograms <laughs> and returning <laughs> consistently <laughs> high prices <laughs> in the same area, <laughs> <I want to be. laughs> an excellent financial proposition for the sheep breeder. Pretty woman, Australian edition. <laughs> they never told me to back up. I've been faking it this whole time. Now watch as the scene turns grimmer than Third Act Of increasing Pixar. importance is the export of live sheep to the Middle East market. Whenever they've run out Australian of camels and little boys. 
in that Middle East buyers prefer a large animal with lean meat. And preferably with one where you can only see their eyes. To temperature extremes, it ensures that they arrive at their destination in excellent condition. Bruised by a handler, whacked by the shipping line of refuse, stick, sick from the tides and traumatised by the death of its loved ones. But you know, that's in the vault. The export of Australian Corridales for breeding purposes is worldwide. And so Over are these walking cotton balls, Australian wherever they're supposed to be. To establish new industries or to Shake that money maker all the way to the slaughterhouse. You see, ladies, high this is why we're always late. The requirements of all importing countries. Like in Prussia, Jordan, the Holy Roman, Roman Empire, Empire Yugoslavia, and all 17 counties in Fredonia. Past and present members of the Australian Corridale Association can all lay claim of shoving 200 ping pong balls up their hind quarters and each. monitored all breeding stock throughout Australia for the past three quarters of a century. The last quarter was spent on a little homies figure, which these guys just ate. Hmm. Never heard of the boy who cried swamp monster before. These yearling rams, for instance, are the result of careful selection and breeding that will ensure the continuation and growth of the Australian Corridale. They should be about the size of the Australian naval fleet by the time 2036 rolls around. These two pedigreed rams exhibit all the classified under the species name Olodius Hecumicus. Big, upstanding, well-balanced sheep. I guess I better call 1-800-STEAMER, huh? Handling fleece. You can fit a whole party of Mexican banditos within this fleece. Now grab a brush and put a little makeup and hide your scars to fade away the shake-up. Just walk on by, Lammy. Walk on by. And now the trip up Christopher Reeve on this last hurdle. The Australian Corridale could be called an the available easy absolute care sheep unit of, of chunk and ready gold. But that's for those who actually have a job. Sheep with all that is best in a carcass sheep. Slice it open and find the kit the boys stuffed in it. It's this feels like to Apple of climatic imagery. conditions has in effect made it the international sheep. This is Mr. Worldwide! <laughs> Yeah, what are we gonna do with this Orville Redenbacher overstock? Wool, suitable for all needs. Like vaping in the bathroom. Here's the mass production of the TPing a farmer at Gregor's house. The wool is eagerly sought for home spinning. Like the words, length, I am your biological father. Fiber, make it ideal for this purpose. And I repeat, they were using this in 1980. A large frame with high quality lean meat. And the bobbles and jangles hanging off the side. The whole world is yours to poop on, Max. Never forget that. The Australian Corridale has a long lifespan. That lasts about as long as this sentence. Even at a very mature age. But cheese, maybe. This factor, coupled with the high lamb survival rate, until when care was introduced in its state. Sheep in the world. The Australian Corridale. Weeknights on Channel Seven. Now don't disappear into the void again. Oh. Quick, my brothers, on our way to revolution! Ugh, I'm a little creeped out by the hairless breeds. Of course, the green grass was added in post, and the catering was provided by one hungry Turk. There goes the last truck of all me fox to give! Never to be seen again! Let's see, set timer for uh, 4 20, 20, 88. Right here, time for me cryogenic freezing, as opposed to kind of film productions. Anne Whitehead, formerly known as Latresa Watermelon Head. Everyone already left the theater to see the popcorn lady's map of Tazet. And that was the last time the Aussies ever saw the sun.